Paces. We're here to look at the Feiyu G5 3-axis gimbal. I've had uh, another gimbal before this for my GoPro 4, but now that I have the GoPro 5, I needed a new gimbal and this just came out. Um, so we'll just go through the unboxing here. There is the welcome card, the warranty, instructions, battery, uh, USB charger, and the pins that attach the camera to the gimbal itself. It's all pretty standard stuff. The one big thing about this G5 is that it's water resistant, not waterproof, but water resistant. I like this case that it comes with. It has a little bit of a ring at the end. And at, there's also a weight to balance the camera. There's different settings if you have a GoPro 4 or GoPro 5. And this is the gimbal itself. It's definitely well enclosed. It has like a nice hard rubber feel to it. Um, feels sturdy. You can tell that it has the connector for the extension pole. It's a similar build quality to past gimbals. Um, so the first thing you have to do to get it set up is screw off the bottom part. There you can insert the battery and you have like a tight water resistant seal here and then after that depending if you have the GoPro 4 or 5 you'll need to install the the weight the counterbalance if you have the 5 you install the extra weight if you have the 4 then you just leave on the weight that's already there and this takes a little bit getting used to the screw into the, the right position but you can tell uh, once it's screwed in correctly. And then you also have to remove this face plate in order to fit the GoPro 5. It won't uh, fit with the face plate still there, so you can't really slide it in like you could before with the older ones. It's a pretty tight fit, um, but that means that your GoPro won't slip out. There are longer screws if you'd rather do that but I, I found the short screws to, to work fine for the GoPro 5. So once you screw that in, they recommend that you try to balance it, make sure it's balanced before you turn on the gimbal. And here I was finally putting the weight on. As I said before, for the GoPro 5, you need that extra weight to counterbalance the weight of the GoPro 5. And you'll definitely need to fix the stabilization when you first turn it on. In order to do that, you press the function button three times. And then once you have it turned on, It'll let you know by the green light you're good to go. The first mode that it uh, starts on is the pan and tilt. So as you move the direction of the gimbal, the camera will follow you. Um, and then you click once to select your your angle that you want to stay at, and it'll stay straight no matter how you move it. Um, it's pretty smooth. I, I haven't noticed any any kind of glitching or any jumping between positions. And one of my favorite parts about this is the little thumb uh, toggle that you can shift the camera around with, you can move it around. Um, it's a little bit jumpy when I looked at the video footage that I got from there, but that might just be from learning how to use it better.
And then another thing which uh, I learned after is that you can insert the camera upside down and since GoPro detects if your camera is right side up or not, it'll um, auto-correct the display in the back and um, the footage will come out the same. But what this allows you to do is have access to the mode button on the side if you use that to um, toggle your modes or to turn on the GoPro. So I found the using the upside down position to be probably a lot more useful and probably what I'll stick with going forward. see how the GoPro corrected itself on the screen. 